Oh hi Jenny, how are you? Uh, so here we are back again because last time we had time only to talk about uh, Nam Yoga and today we're gonna try to talk about the other thing that uh, Joseph Michael Levery taught you which is harmonium. So um, first of all thank you for being here. Thank you. You look very pretty today. <laughs> thank you. And uh, I uh, would like you of course to tell us why is Michael uh, Joseph Michael Levy involved in both things? I thought they were two separate things. That's a good question. Um, as I mentioned last week, Nam Yoga is a merger of uh, Universal Kabbalah with Kundalini Yoga, which Joseph Michael Levy um, came together and founded the Nam Yoga system. Um, and Harmonium is in a way hands-on Nam. So Nam Yoga is yoga and you are actively participating, moving your body, uh, breathing uh, specifically in a certain way, chanting. So the person is active. Whereas in a harmonium treatment, it's also known as the harmonium healing system. It's not Reiki, but it's, it's energetic work. And people often ask, is it like Reiki? And I received one Reiki session. So you can think a little bit like, it's healing work. You're on a massage table. You're Reiki. They don't touch the person. They just do this. I actually, in my Reiki session, they did t touch me, okay. and it worked a lot on the organs. Okay. But just to give people like some idea of, okay, we're not talking yoga. We're not talking acupuncture. We're not talking um, yeah. massage. We're talking yeah. energy work, um, and it's healing work. Working with a very, uh, we're working with the divine level, the astral level, and the physical level. So. Um, it's for more of a passive reception of the same power of Nam Yoga, which is an awakening of the heart center and um, bringing in pure healing art. Okay, so um, can you uh, tell me why on the picture here they showed the, the vertebrae? The, is, is that the, uh, the main area of uh, focus when you heal someone? And can you tell us why? Yes, that's a good question. In Harmonium 1, which is what I practice, we mainly work the area of the nape of the neck to the sacrum and working the spine. We work um, with the client with their clothes on in very gentle motions. The reason why we work the spine is because the spine is the center of the emotional, physical, spiritual bodies. So when you work on the spine, you can help all aspects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Um, I noticed because I took one session, yes, <laughs> just for fun. Right. I I noticed you barely touch the person. I mean, it's very gentle. Yes. Is that supposed to be that way? I have a very gentle touch naturally. Um, even in other systems that I've worked in in the past, I was told, "Oh, you're so gentle." So I think um, each practice, and I've received harmoniums from different people. So each practitioner has their own. Um, uh, shall we say, um, you know, a little uh, individual of doing it. So I think I do have a gentle touch, um, but it is a gentle system. It is a very gentle t uh, system. So it's not like a very deep tissue massage where you're going to have muscle tension and you're going to receive a healing uh, feeling in that way. It's much more subtle and energetic and sending... Um, divine love from the sun, from the uh, from highest divine level into the body of the, the client. And that's what brings the harmony and the relaxation and the healing. Okay, so basically when people see that picture, they think it's a massage, right? I mean, obviously there's a woman, her hands on the back right there. <laughs> so, so a guy might call you and think he's getting a massage when you hardly you do a massage really you hardly you, you barely touch the vertebrae and you don't even massage the body at all uh, do they do, are they disappointed when they see that well I, I try to explain right away what it is you know it's not a massage if you're looking for a massage you know this is not what we're doing so I definitely try to communicate before a person comes in for a session that that is not what they're receiving when I first um, experienced harmonium I didn't really enjoy it myself oh, okay. it was pretty tedious it was very repetitive <laughs> at certain parts same for me yeah. and I was just kind of like are we moving on are we moving on are we and gonna do something different yes and it goes deep and deep and deep it's very repetitive and it's very simple and it's very um, 
you know, there's a whole circular spiral for, oh, for a long time. Yeah. But then when I received more sessions, I enjoyed it much more and I received a very, very powerful feelings and healing feelings and it, it was, it went on a new level. So often a client, just to answer your question um, quickly, um, they are a little bit maybe disappointed because it doesn't feel like much. Yeah. But um, people who understand the work and who understand Nam Yoga beforehand are much more open to um, the power that it can uh, bring about. And someone who is also maybe feeling it more than how you and I felt it at mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Because what we're doing is we're opening up um, some senses? No, not really. Some what? Senses? No. Well, we're opening up, I was going to say, we work, um, it's a Kabbalistic um, healing system. Mm -hmm. So on the Tree of Life, which is this very famous um, symbol um, for uh, Kabbalah, um, there are ten spheres, which mm -hmm. are like attributes of God. Mm -hmm. And then there's this 11th sphere, mm -hmm. which is at the nape of the neck. And mm -hmm. if you notice during your session, I work a lot on the neck, on the nape of the neck. And um, so, so there are so seven <laughs> sessions, right? Are all sessions the same? <laughs> um, let me just finish just quickly what I was saying before, which is that what we're working on is regeneration. So it's like okay. a rebirthing and a, an awakening to awareness and a way to clear up Something, something that wasn't working well and to bring about a, 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 a level of almost like a water of refreshing newness of a rebirth okay. and that's why we work on that mm. area and that's okay. why it's connected to okay what was, so the seven sessions are they identical um they're fairly similar in the sense that if you're doing say um harmonium one the structure of harmonium uh, one is the same mm -hmm. so you might do a little bit more of one part and a little bit less of another part given on the day of who you're of, of how the client is feeling but um, they are fairly similar and so I mean do you see a progress in those seven sessions do I mean is there like you ask the person did you see a, uh, some kind of healing or <coughs> why seven uh, that's a question. Why seven? Well, seven is a very um, sacred number. It's okay. like three, seven. Um, so at the end of seven, they should be healed? No, I would say that um, healing takes time. So the, just like it took a long time to have, uh, you the know, disease itself. the disease itself, whatever negative thinking, say, you, you know, you, you just really bash yourself in your mind or you um, have an addiction or so um, whatever, longer. whatever thing that you do. And we all have things going on. We all have our, yeah. our stuff. Um, that took a long time to accumulate. So it, so it takes work okay. and it takes time and not only the harmonium sessions, but you can do Nam Yoga, you can do your own you uh, meditation practice. You can complement it with other things. I mean, there's a lot of things that you need to actively participate as well. But mm -hmm. the reason why we do seven, um, I believe, is because it's just such a sacred number and it, it takes that amount to it, it start the healing. Okay. And can, But you can get benefits out of one also. Okay. Can you tell us what's the philosophy that uh, Michael, Joseph Michael Avery is trying to to teach you or to to bring about. I mean, this is a whole book. Can you show us a book? Yes, this is a beautiful book. This is the Code of the Masters, which I was um, on the bus coming over here, and I was rereading the chapter on Harmonium. Yeah. And it's so deep, and there's so much to learn. So you learn more each time you read, each time you yeah. you, you study with um, Joseph Michael Avery. Okay. And um, this is a great book, the Code of the Masters. I would recommend starting with um, Lifting the Veil, yeah. which is. Uh, a, best, a better introduction to the system, and then this is maybe a, a secondary, a book to read in uh, afterwards, and you can reread it and reread it. I reread it, and I still need to reread it. Um, but what so I think he's really trying to impart is that is by practicing, he found out that it heals. Is that what he well, did? Well, I think I, you know, Joseph Michael Avery is a very he has a, such a great sense of humor, and he's a, such a loving soul and yeah. person. Yeah. And he wants us to become better people, to try to be better people, and to spread love and healing, and to. And, and he thought he uh, he discovered that the the spine is very important. 
I think that's been known for a long time that the spine is very important. The heart is very important, um, which is they part say, of the heart. They say all diseases are disease of the heart too. I mean, it's like is when you right? have a broken heart, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I think that um, the cause of all disease or problems in life is the lack of love. Yeah. We all need more love and love heals. So when I'm giving a session or when I'm teaching a class, I really feel like you, I'm trying to giving, impart giving the divine love, love of, of, of And that's what Michael God. Yeah, Yes. Yes. It's, it's a gift of being connected and then transmuting that to to the um, client to the to ev to ever yes the client the students so that we feel loved you okay. know and yeah. accepted and I think life is also I mean you know something we, we we can pray about and say often is saying the prayer of love peace and light to surround ourselves that way the universe which needs it so much and the earth and the animals and the rivers and um, all the humans mm -hmm. so I think just sending love mm -hmm. which is the highest vibration mm -hmm. peace which we all need we need peace in our own hearts to have peace in the world mm -hmm. and um, light which is you know a combination of, of many things so I think he's he's imparting wisdom and, and so the, uh, the, code, the code of masters describe harmonium it has a chapter that does describe harmonium. It's chapter 22, okay. and it's a very. It's. A, I would need to reread it. It just inspired me. How long this does interview. it take to study it? I'm still studying it, honestly. I think it's something um, like a three months process or practicing on people. The course is three days, and it's pretty much all day for three days. And then you. And then you, have you to practice. need to have um, 30 hours for each. About 30 hours for each of the levels. So there's harmonium one and two. Harmonium one, you touch the client quite a bit, and harmonium two is more on the auric body. And, and I um, practice the one. harmonium one. And then there's harmonium three, which I haven't quite. Um, done that I'd love to do and I believe that addresses cancer. Oh, so that's a bit difficult um, do, do you need the male and 